I've worked at WBWC for almost four years now. Tim Muff, I was music director and I host a format show. I also host a, a specialty show. I've always wanted to do like a specialty show of my own. When I went to college, I was exposed to like all this cool new music. Check it out, Bit of Sky Tonight. It's been about a year now. During March of 2000, 2002, I started off and I needed a name, so I was asking all my friends, you know, what kind of, you know, name should I use? And they're like, well, just listen to some of your so favorite songs and you'll find one. So like, uh, it's, a save, it's from a Saves the Day song. And they say, you know, The Bitter Sky Tonight in it. So I thought it would be funny because like, tonight, like, kind of works in two different ways for the name. I asked my friend John to like, help me out with it because he had like, an amazing music library. Eventually, me and him were kind of doing it together. Every week, we'd just like kind of sift through everything we could find on the internet, find some new bands, check them out, try to play them. One of my best friends, Brooke, she just, funny story, she just called our show every week for like a month or so. We like to apologize we ask to And finally, she was like, I'm in, I'm in BW right now, I'm in Berea, I'm gonna come up and visit you guys. So she came up. She brought us some muffins. This is what me and John were doing the show. And ever since then, we've been like, you know, she's always been there. She's always, you know, talking on the radio. And we have a good chemistry together, so it's always a good time. My buddy Alan, that I met through class, went through DJ training. And uh, he needed something to read his news ad. So, like, he started coming up to the show. He listened to a lot of the same music, a lot of more angles on the music than I had. Me, the CD is Virginia Woolf 30, 2003. I saw a time show my day. No, Summertime is the worst song in the album. This is totally Virginia Woolf 30, 2003. It's amazing. And he started coming up, and eventually, since I was training him to be a DJ, I gave him like a half hour spot in the show, because he did so much for us, like burning us CDs, and just being there, and helping out when I couldn't be there and stuff. So so that's, that's just me, Brooke, and Alan now are like the three. And it's a, it's a good combination, I think. We always have like, kind of like roadies to our radio show. Like it doesn't really make any sense. But like over the summer, this kid I worked with, Bob, he used to come up after work every, every Wednesday with his girlfriend. And they would just chill. Like they didn't even listen to what we played. They just liked to hang out with me and Brooks. So like they'd come up and chill. Another kid, Jason, started coming up to hang out. And my favorite one is Pete. Um, Pete works for the Flamingo Surprise, which, if you don't know, they drive around in vans and like put flamingos in people's yards for like the birthdays and stuff. Well, he drives all over the place, and he does, obviously has to do it at night. And his van only has an FM AM radio, so he listens. He used to listen to us every Wednesday while he was putting flamingos in people's yards, which I think is funny. And uh, eventually, he's like, "I'm not working tonight. I'm coming up to hang out." And brought a whole bunch of seven inches up with him, and we had a good time. Stuff we play on a weekly basis on the show is more of a, it's a more eclectic thing. We're starting to get some like hardcore. We've moved to mostly like post-punk rock, anything like emo or even some indie and some hardcore. And there's really a lot out there. So like I love hearing about new bands every week, and we try to bring them out to our audience. The big, the big things for us, our priorities, I guess, are like Armor for Sleep, like Dreaming to Make Believe, North Star, Take Her Not a Giver like one line drawing. It's a lot of the bands that are in town at the time, like Brand New's in town next week, so I mean of course we're going to play Brand New or Counterfeit. We always play Counterfeit, always, always, always play Counterfeit. This band called Go To Jersey, I saw them at a show and I was like, I thought they were really great. I'm like, you guys are local and it turns out they were, so I, I asked them to come up and ever since then, that was the first band we had come up ever since then between me and my co-host Brooke and uh, we would always just find bands like that are from around here and we'd be friends with them and ask them to come up and it's really kind of a cool thing because I mean not only do like we get to have you know exciting guests in our studio but also we get to bring the music to a lot of different people and we get to make friends with like some really cool guys and bands and help them out. We've had the interns on twice now. A boy's will comes up like all the time. They're our buddies. Until Dawn, Skyline Dies, Solo Flyer. I got lucky enough to interview James DeWeese from the Get Up Kids. Um, also, Reggie and the Full Effect is his, his side project. It was amazing. The guy's hilarious. 
We've, we've done bands like Beautiful Mistake, um, Counterfeit, My Chemical Romance. We'll do like an interview with them over the phone or at the show or, you know, anything like that. The bands are usually willing to do that if, if we contact them. Hey, radio station. 10.30 right now. Uh, the party has arrived. <laughs> Hey.